like, Sam, you're so handsome. I'm like, I'm not handsome. <laughs> what the heck, guys? I've never been called handsome in my life. <laughs> Dude, remember your TikTok um, where you can have like a, the filter a with like the beard. Yeah. I, col- I, I collab, I don't know what you call it. Collab or duet. It's called a duet. Oh my god, dude, I've been so tita. I haven't posted on Instagram for a hot second. I know after how long. I, you know what, guys? I just have to say, like, with social media, sometimes when you're not on Instagram and just, like, living life and kind of, like, I don't know. It's so refreshing. You, you guys should try it. I, I mean, again, unless you need it for work or if you have deliverables that you need to post. But I say that it's a really, really good refresher to kind of, like, get a new perspective on life. Haha, <laughs> you're handsome too now. Oh, no. <laughs> Can I just say cute and, and pretty and gorgeous? Yeah. <laughs> gorgeous. Um, somebody asked what the hardest word in Tagalog is. Nakakapagpapagabag. <laughs> Probably, but there's so many. It's all of the deep Tagalog words. Oh, my. like yeah. Especially my mom's from Batangas, and Batangas they have so many really long Tagalog words that I can't even pronounce. So I, a lot of those are hard. Yeah, I remember um, in high school we had to read Ibong Adarna, so it's kind of essentially like a book that's like required. It was so hard. Like I had. I really needed help from my mom for like all my Tagalog classes. But also we were like speaking three different languages like in high school. It was kind of... Marurubok. That means fragile. Marurubok is fragile ba? Barbs. Yeah, it is. 100%. No. Uh. no Marurubok is like... Okay, let's say your boyfriend... Like, it's like you're sensitive. No. Marupok. Yes, it is. May I... Ex- Sorry. Yes. So, example, when, let's say, your boyfriend, like, came late or something, and let's just say that, like, I advised you, like, no, like, let him learn his lesson, whatever, but then he calls five minutes later, and you answer the phone, and if you answer the phone and give in, that means your mother folk gets. It's like you're soft. Yeah. It's fragile, okay, I guess. Child, that's okay. Good. okay. Sorry, I just always thought Marupok was like not in the main Filipino vocab. I always thought it was just like a lingo. I thought it's a real word. Oh, I didn't know. I totally thought it was just like Becky terms or something. No. Oh. Uh, okay. Like if a girl's really sensitive and she always gets her feelings hurt, she's Marupok. Uh, I didn't know. Mar- the literal translation is fragile. Uh, I always thought Mario Bok is like when you give in to your crush or whatever. That can let's, also be. Yeah. Tagalog lessons with Mao. Wow. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I'm learning something from you. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Can I just say also, can I share? I've been um, sick the last week, right? And I've been fasting right after. And I'm so happy that I'm back why did you fast after being sick that well, because wrong <laughs> i feel like my tummy is so sensitive so like it's not like i could eat you know, you know right away i was vomiting a lot especially with dairy but it's okay i think you know what i'm getting my food intolerance test on you should come with me i'm down it's living the bow we were go ahead hmm? go ahead go ahead uh it's with living science Mm-hmm. In BGC, mm-hmm. come with me. I think you need it also. Okay, is that the nutrition thing where they like essentially tell you like what works for your body, what foods work? Yes. Okay, Makano. Thirteen k. What did Kind of. it's full and it's expensive. Okay. Yeah. Grab it all. Why are you so expensive? Not just to get a test. Yeah, but I think they check everything. And then from plants to foods, um, they'll check all of your levels. And everybody who's done it says it's worth it. True. So, so I, at least it has good reviews. They're like, do it, do it. You need it. It will change your life. I'm like, okay. True. True. 
Someone's asking if Maru Pokka ba? Maru Pokka ba? Ako, Maru Pokka. Ako, ako parang 50-50. Depende sa situation. <laughs> What's that love? So what else is the cheese miss? Why are they calling you Chinita? Are you Chinita? No, I feel like they only call me Chinita because I can't see the comments. So every time I have to look at the comments, my eyes are like squinting. I my eyes disappear, bro. And I've accepted the fact that it does. So bear with me, people. Bear <laughs> let me be Chinita. The IG live because I like Oh my god. <laughs> You're handsome, you're Janita, pack. <laughs> I don't know, sana all cute lang. <laughs> I've never been told, Maureen, you look Janita. <laughs> yeah, bro, your eyes are so damn expressive. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, do you easily get jealous? Celosa pa ba, Maureen? Yes, totoo. Ikaw? Minsan. I only a little bit, and it's normally, it's only if you give um, similar give. treat to them. Like, I expect you to treat me differently than all other women. Oh, right, right, true. Like, I'm your princess, and everyone else to you is a commoner, my love. I am true. your queen. That's it. That's Facts. All. Queen and if you behave right. differently, then I will be Marupok. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Also, being jealous is like we should have that as a topic on Slay now. That would be a good one. Yeah, but in general, I'm really chill, especially my you are. current very partner. Never. Yeah, we do long distance. He's only here oh. half the year. But you go there, so it's yeah, like. But we're still doing two months apart, three months apart. True. So. On that level, I'm not jealous, but there was one night we were at Dr. Wine and he was really like talking to a girl for too long and I was just like, hello, <laughs> and like touching him, hello, how are you guys? And like he immediately knew, okay, bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like with my exes, like I never ever like butted in, I just give them the eyes like from afar and they already know they, mm, yeah. uh, it's like, yeah. makuha ka sa tingin, bro. That's the good thing about having an expressive face. Like, sometimes it, it's, like, too much, but I can just give one look. And it's, yeah. Like, you know, like, yeah. And I feel like, for me, too, I feel like I wear my emotions. Oh, what did they say? You wear your heart on your sleeve. Yeah. So I feel like, like even you, like, when we're together, you know how I'm feeling about a certain topic or mm -hmm. anything. Right. But I feel like that's one of my superpowers is I'm very empathetic and I can, I, I'm very good at seeing how other people are feeling. So true. Almost, so true. Almost, I feel so. like you're an empath. Yeah. You really are. I think you absorb people's energies oh. and it can be a great thing, but I think it's great that you are aware when you feel that your energy is diminishing because of it. I wish I wasn't. It's too much. I get really easily affected. Mm -hmm. Actually, over Holy Week, we were in, like, a shuttle group, mm. and then somebody from our group got lost, and then I was about to run after them, and then my partner was like, Maureen, focus on yourself right now. I was like, no, but they got separated from the group. We have to save them. And he's like, no, they chose to go that way. We have to go this way. Otherwise, we'll miss the boat because we were running late for the boat. And so uh -huh. he's like, stop focusing on others. I was like, okay, okay, I'll try. <laughs> Dude. Oh, wait, are you Kikai? I'm super Kikai. But definitely Maureen is more Kikai than I am. I think you're you're a good mix about like of feminine and strong. Like even when it comes to style, I feel like I always want to be in a sundress versus like I feel like you wear more pants. Really? But then you wear then you wear more makeup and I wear probably a little bit less. So I think we're like Kika in different ways. Yeah. 
because for me when i wear pants i just want like flare pants and also recently i feel like i don't have much events to go because i work in corporate so every day i'm in like corporate attire and then the only time i'm not in corporate is when i'm in my sports attire yeah and i always wear in doing like leggings a cap and a crop top very la yeah for me i'm either in gym clothes or a sundress like even if i go to the grocery store i still wear like a dress yeah i love because i want to wear my nice things i'm a shopaholic so it's time True. for my fashion show <laughs> <laughs> i need to shop with you dude i feel like i haven't shopped in so long like just like casual clothes like i whenever there's like a small event whatever it is i just always ask my stylist just because it's like once you go to the event, it's not like you can wear that again. Especially if it's, like, themed or whatever. Yeah. I think I've been... I'm trying to only buy pieces that I'll rewear. Because, mm-hmm. as you said, I don't want to over-shop. So I'm trying to be more mindful. Um, but I'm definitely... That's, that's my vice. My vice is shopping. Do you prefer masculine or feminine side? What was that? Masculine? Masculine or feminine side. Someone asked, do you prefer your masculine or feminine side? I love my feminine side. It's my superpower. Me too. And also, like, it's okay to... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I don't know if it's okay to say. <laughs> no, I mean, because, like, when you're feminine, you know, comes also your sensuality as a woman. Mm-hmm. So I feel like people shouldn't, you know... disguise that trait of theirs if, if you are central or whatever because it, it mixes into your personality I remember this because you told me uh, recently that we're very malande yeah it comes with femininity yes yeah but I think yeah everybody's a mix of both you know I think of it as our yin and our yang I think you have a very balanced yin and yang I think for me I'm just more I don't know which is which I want to say yin is female mm. energy. I think I'm way more yin, and that's okay. You are. So that just means my ideal partner should be more yang, and that's okay. Yin or yang. I didn't know they had a label like that. I didn't know yin stood for, like, feminine and then yang for masculine. I mean, I think a lot of people interpret it differently. Some people say light, lightness and darkness in yeah. you. Um, people use it for, yeah, your sexuality. Like, there's a lot. True. Yeah. Oh, someone asked, are you OA or nonchalant? You know what OA is? Overacting. Mama. So are you OA or are you nonchalant? Both. I think it's <laughs> OA. You're not nonchalant. <laughs> but the thing is, that's why I don't get, I know I'm OA, so I don't get involved in things that aren't going to benefit me uh-huh. because I am OA. So, yeah. If I really care about it, oh, A. Yeah. What about you? I think in the work environment, I'm very nonchalant because, you know, with my position, I really have to keep a level head uh, for big decision making. But in real life, I guess I'm pretty oh, A. Just because, like, I have a big personality, I have a strong personality, and I think it's one of the best traits. And I, and I, I don't know. I'm super. I'm, I'm just a super hyper person, so I guess it makes me oi. <laughs> Where did you get your eyebrows done? I got it at Strokes PH. Look for Moi. You know, oh boy, I just lost it. Somebody was asking what our Meyer Briggs test was, the personality oh, test, the MBTI. Yeah. Isn't that like um, E N T E N T I? One. I am an ENTJ. It's my personality type. Uh-huh. Do you know yours? I haven't taken one. Actually, I'm gonna. Now that you mentioned it, I'm probably gonna take one later just to see. I feel like it's we good should, to update. We should do it for an episode, and it, it can change Maybe. over the course of your life. So True. I'm curious if mine has has changed also. That's so funny though. If we do it for an episode like two months before it's released, then we might maybe different now by that time. Who knows? I think only if we're traumatized or like go through something.